since there's two days left for the tournament and a lot of people are still having trouble actually getting the game to work, I decided that I would make a video like kind of explaining what to do with all of these things and where to get them because nobody seems to know where, even though it's, it's obvious like they, they try to explain it in the server. And the video made was very vague because it was mostly focused on the net play, but I'm going to teach everybody how to actually get Dolphin to work. First, I'm going to show you how to get this because this is actually the most important part of everything. And... Basically, what you want to do is... Like, I'm, I'm not going to run this because I already have it installed. I, same with these, I'm not going to run these because I already have them installed. But basically, what you want to do is, first you want to come here choose whatever version you have in my in my case I am a 64-bit computer so I, I would download the 64-bit version but if you have 32-bit it should show up as 86 instead Dolphin needs this to run if you don't have this installed Dolphin will not run the dev build will just re refuse to run you can, you can still run stable but you can't run the dev build so while you're doing the rest of this you should just you know open this up like I said I'm not gonna run the whole thing because I already have it see like it won't even let me but yeah, you should install this while you're doing the rest of this. Next, you want to go to the Dolphin Emulator website. And you should get this one on the very top and this one. Like, just both of them. That way you can have 5.0 for stability and then you can have the dev build for actual net play. Like, I, I get both instead because, like, I like to play the game by myself and record on 5.0, but I, I still play in, like, multiplayer, so I want to have the dev build. And when you have this, like again, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make an example since I have it installed. I'm not going to. You can choose to have these if you don't have them already installed, but I'm not going to. Cause you select Dolphin as your program file. Like remember, install this one. Like this is the one that you should install. This one is for extraction somewhere else. You run this, install it. I'm not going to since I already installed it. Now, with this. This is the Dolphin Dead build. It's basically the same thing, but you know it's the, it's the updated version, and it's I, I'll admit it's a little bit worse for performance, but it still works. Like you should still be able to play the game. Program files, Dolphin. As you can see, I made a folder for the Dev build. Like rather than just putting this in there, I made a separate folder for it so I can just use both. And I made like an icon for it. I don't. I don't really use the icon though, the, because I just reinstalled it and I need to fix it. Yeah, you put the dev build in a separate folder, preferably somewhere with the stable, so you can get to both, or you can just make shortcuts like I did here. This is my stable and this is my dev build. Now, for the most important part, this is easy. Documents, Dolphin Emulator, Config, boom. There's going to be a link in the description for this config file right here. And you need to take this and replace every file in this, like like replace every file in here with everything in this. And what that should do is, even if you have a bad computer, it should allow you to at the very least run Sonic Riders and Zero Gravity. You can still run some other games if your computer is good enough, but this config is specifically made for the Riders game, so it might not work the best for you. And just real quick, just make sure that when you start it up, Ah, oh, crap. Being stupid. Oh, there it is. Alright. When you start it up, you just want to go in here, um, make sure that per pixel lighting is disabled, and you're going to have to set your own control since this, like the config, it becomes default with like my profile for my controller that I use, and it's different from yours, it might be. So you might want to set yours just in case. With that, you should just be set. You should be able to run the game. Of course, you can choose to do this if you want to. It makes the game act a little bit weird, so I'd personally recommend turning it off. And when you're in tournament, your memory card should always be turned off because it causes desyncs. Also, if you're just if you just need a little bit more frames, try these settings. These are kind of universal; they work on everything. And I can't really do an example of how it performs since Bandicam is at, it's freaking awful. But just trust trust me, it works. Everybody who I've given the config to has said that it works. I'll try to update it if it doesn't work. 
because I know that sometimes the dev build updates and then the config doesn't work anymore. But yeah, that should clear everything up. You should be able to install the game and actually play in tournament now. You should probably get on that because in two days we're having a tournament. Actually, I think registration just closed. I don't know. You should go check.